Musical instruments have played a major role throughout the Zelda series, from an ocarina that lets you travel in time, to a pamphlet that summons the power of the spirits, to an array of instruments that awakens a sleeping wing lord. Today, we're gonna go over an important instrument that has appeared in several games of the series. The goddess Harp was a divine lyre that originally belonged to goddess Hyla herself during her time living among mortal kind, and later passed down to her blood descendants, first coming into possession of Zelda, Hylia's mortal incarnation. Zelda is first seen playing the goddess harp at the feet of the giant goddess statue found in her home of Skyloft, singing the ballad of the goddess in preparation of the annual wing ceremony, in which she would play the role of goddess Hylia herself. When Zelda was dragged down to the surface by Girihim, she took the goddess harp to several temples across the three provinces of the surface to regain her memories of her past life as Hylia. After reuniting with Link in the Temple of Time in the Nehru Desert, Zelda is once again seen playing the goddess harp before the Gate of Time, accompanied by her protector Impa. It was then that the demon lord Girahim burst into the temple, forcing Zelda and Impa to flee through the Gate of Time. Before escaping, Zelda entrusted Link with the harp, as he would need him more than her. With the harp now in his possession, Link would learn several songs that would aid him on his quest. The old woman in the sealed temple would teach Link the ballad of the goddess, a song which revealed the gate of time and which would open the entrance to the Isle of Songs in the Thunderhead, where Link would learn three major songs which would grant him access to the Silent Realm Trials in each region. The first of the songs Link learns is Pharaoh's Courage. This song created a portal to the Phantom Wood Silent Realm, where Link would acquire the Water Dragon Scale, a relic of the Water Dragon Pharaoh which allowed the wearer to dive and swim underwater. The second of the songs Link learns is Nero's Wisdom. This song created a portal to the Nero Desert Siren Realm, where Link would be rewarded with the Claw Shots, allowing him to latch to things such as vines and pea hats to get to areas previously unreachable. The final of the songs Link learns is Ding's Power. This song created a portal to the Elden Volcano Silent Realm, where Link will be granted the Fire Shield Earrings, which would shield Link from the scorching heat of places such as the Volcano Summit. The final song Link will learn in his adventure is the Song of the Hero. Split into four parts, Link must learn them from the three guardian dragons of each region, Faran, Odin, and Leniru, and the guardian spirit of the skies, Levias, found within Thunderhead. This song will reveal the goddess's silent realm found in Skyloft, where Link will be gifted the Stone of Trials, which will reveal the entrance to Skykeep where the Triforce is hidden. The Goddess Harp will be passed down to those within Hylia's bloodline, which will come to be known as the Royal Family of Hyrule. After countless generations, the Goddess Harp will be seen again in the possession of Princess Zelda during the era of the Hero of Time, where she will be disguised as Sheik in an attempt to hide from the evil Gerudo King Ganondorf. Under her Sheikah guise, Sheik would teach Link various songs to play on the Ocarina of Time, which would allow him to warp to the entrances of each temple of Hyrule. And that was the Goddess Hub Explained. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you haven't already, please consider following me on Twitter and Instagram at Zeldalo86. This has been Zeldalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.